Hello and welcome back to the Ultimate Lexus IS200 track build, proudly sponsored by eBay. In today's episode, I'm joined by Gareth again, which means only one thing. We're going to be building the car to make it even faster and even better. Now, we've got a couple of things that we are sitting in. We've got bucket seats, we've got harnesses, and in front of us, we've got some new discs and some EBC yellow stuff pads. Let's do some unboxing. The new dimpled and groove brake discs are complemented by a set of new EBC yellow stuff pads which I bought together on eBay for £315. <laughs> yeah! It's snowing! Let it snow! Car parts. Oh yeah. George, George, you gotta clear that up. Oh yes! So I've got the front grooved and dimpled and ventilated brake discs. Uh, so hopefully this should give us quite a lot more stopping power. Hopefully, and I've got the rears also <sighs> grooved and dimpled. They look cool, don't they? They are nice. Yeah. yeah. Should we crack on? I reckon so. Let's do it. Oh no! That's the worst thing in life that could ever happen to any man. You open your toolbox and you realise it's open because it opens itself all over itself. Oh no! We start by jacking up the car and taking off the front wheels. Next, the old brake pads and calipers are removed to free the vented discs. Which means it's time for an impromptu vented disc throwing challenge. With that out of the way and a clear victory for Gareth, we set about putting the first new brake pads into the caliper. Let's clean any rust off. So things run a bit more true. I'm now just putting the discs on. So it fits in quite nicely. This one, oh, fits like a glove. Look at that. Put these bolts in. Right. right, the first caliper talked up. Uh, no, three to go, unfortunately, while Alex faffs around with seats. While I remove the old electric seats, Gareth continues installing the brake pads on the other side. So these are the new bucket seats. They are called Bimarco Futura. If it's not a name you've heard of, don't worry. They are made out of GRP. They are FIA approved and they're actually really super comfortable. Each Bimarco Futura bucket seat set me back £219.50 on eBay, which would be bolted in place with a pair of side mounts, each costing £30. Time now to whack it into the Lexus and then uh, just have a little look and just bolt it down. And then we've got to put the harnesses through here and then race and then just set lap times and you know, just all our fans everywhere there. With our fans excitedly cheering us on from the sides, Gareth puts on the second front brake disc and bolts the caliper in place. I then install the driver's side bucket seat and bolt in the first of two harnesses that I bought for £64.60 each from the same eBay sellers. We then jack up the car at the rear to start installing the rear brakes. So there's the back plate and that's how much pad is left. Maybe... Half a mil? Not bad. I really can't be bothered fighting with something. So it is now, what time is it? 20 past four. 20 past four. Uh, we oh. should be filming the laps now. Well, we should, be, we should have been filming about half an hour ago. Um, but yeah, as, as these things happen, building a car takes a little bit longer than, what did we say, 10 minutes aside? <laughs> I was, I was going for 20. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no. Easy 20 minutes. It'll be fine. Right. Last one. Put this on. Get it all, all together. All the other three have been completed. We're just waiting for Alex to put the last bucket seat in. Uh, after that, we will do a brake bleed, make sure everything's running through fine, and then it's time to hit the track. With time against us and a track waiting to be massaged by heavy braking and fast cornering, Gareth puts in the last pads and discs and gives the braking system a full bleed to ensure no air is trapped in the lines. I put the final bolts into the second bucket seat and the car is ready. I feel wonderful. I feel, I feel very strapped in. <laughs> now it's time to bed in the brakes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
After 15 minutes of bedding in the brakes, the IS-200 is ready to prove what it's made of. It's important to mention here that setting up the camera angles on track and in the car takes some time, so at the start of lap one, the tyres and brakes won't be at their optimum temperatures. Right, so now is the moment of truth. I'm ready to go, and uh, yeah, Ethan, you are in between my legs. Count me in. Oh, the braking is so much better. Instant. Yes, this is so much better. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. There we go. I think that was a good first lap. And the brakes are incredible. They are so much better. What was that benchmark time? That was 39.52. 39.52? Okay, that's a good start. I'm happy with that. Come on! As you can see, I got off to a slow start, but with the tyres fully up to temperature, I'm able to take the long left-hander harder than on lap one. With the new discs and pads also working at 100%, braking performance is much stronger than before, meaning that I'm actually slowing the car down too much, which loses me precious time. I'll be sure to leave braking later for the final lap. Bit wide. That fell fast. That fell fast, I'm not going to lie. Ethan, what, what's the damage? 39.67. No, it's slower. Okay. We, we got to do this. We got to do this. Maybe I'm slowing down too much. And my launch off the line was rubbish. That was really bad. Yeah, your, your start wasn't great on that one. Yeah, okay. Count me in. With a great launch, it's time to stop talking and concentrate on the perfect lap. Through the third and fourth corners, I break far later than previously, and thanks to the new bucket seats and harnesses, I find that I'm not fighting to keep upright, which gives me the confidence to push even harder. And by the time I dispatch the hairpin and chicane to cross the line, I'm praying to the car gods for a great result. I don't know where I can make up time. I don't know. What's the damage, E? Yeah! Yeah! 38.61! Yes, 38.61. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. I'm really happy with that. 38.61. Wow. I cannot get it faster than that. As you can see from the footage, the braking performance into turns 3 and 4 are considerably stronger. While the addition of bucket seats and harnesses not only helps me attack the corner harder, it also means I'm able to accelerate out of the corner slightly harder thanks to a reduction of around 25 kilograms versus the old, heavy and flat leather seats. Another day is done at Kerbera and the mighty Lexus, I keep on saying mighty Lexus, but it keeps on getting even more mighty, set a best lap time of 38.61, which is 0.8 of a second faster than the last episode which is incredible, my mind is blown. Absolutely incredible, bucket seats are amazing, stops you swishing around the cockpit, and equally the brakes are spot on, I'm really impressed. Really and also impressed. the harnesses is kind of a mental thing, it makes me feel more secure, so I'm not actually lifting in third, which is incredible. Possibly part of the car. Can I am part on? of the car. Join us next time in the final episode, where we're going to be installing a racing clutch, a lightened flywheel, and a short shifter. Go Team Lexus! Yeah!
With the lap times continuing to tumble and the GT86 defeated, our new target for the final episode is the 306 brake horsepower Honda Civic Type R. With a lightened flywheel, new clutch and performance air filter installed, can the mighty Lexus come anywhere close? Only time will tell. Don't forget guys that this awesome Lexus IS200 track car will be auctioned off on eBay in the coming weeks for 99p with no reserve. Massive thanks to eBay for sponsoring this awesome build series. Click here for the previous episodes, here to subscribe, and check out the Car Throttle Hub on eBay right there.